Hey, so today I thought I'd do a July favourites video. Um, sorry if the beginning of it seems really weird. I need to check if the camera is recording. I'm going to start off with all the makeup bits and then go on to bits like hair to nails to things to keep you healthy, just to bits and bobs really to and stuff. This video might be quite long, so sorry if it is. And also, just while I'm here, thank you so much to overview my Primark haul. Last time I looked, it was on 50 views, which is insane for me considering I started this channel over a month ago. So yeah, thank you so much and I can't wait for future videos, if you need to see future videos. So I'll jump straight into the makeup now. So the first two things are actually from MAC and it's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder and the MAC SPF Fix Fluid, um, Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 Foundation in NW10 and in light. So I'll show you what these look like. This is the packaging. The packaging is just quite plain but in black but it says matte and then this is just the packaging inside it's so worth your money and it's just it's a really nice sort of packaging i was really i'm really happy when i got this because i like i've never this my, these are my two first things from mac and they're honestly some of the best best one of the best brands you could buy from in my opinion so worth the money i love the packaging i think it's so nice oh crap and yeah, it looks like that. So I would suggest doing that. I can't actually remember how much it is, I'm afraid. Um, I think it was £21.50. And then the MAC mineralizer is £23, I think. Anyway, that's, this is what the MAC powder looks like. Just plain, simple. This is what the inside looks like. Just powder in a mirror. The mirror is really helpful if you're just doing it. I've used, I've used my MAC foundation and powder about 9 or 10 times. And... It's not even, you can't even tell I've used it basically. So, yeah, so worth the money. And I, to be honest, I could sit in Pat Max praises all day, but I'm not going to. I'm going to get on with the video. So, the next thing I've been loving is this eyeshadow, little eyeshadow palette. I don't actually know where this is from, I'm afraid. These are what the colours look like. I'm not sure if this is in focus either because I haven't got a viewfinder. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It's quite nice. Um, colours are gorgeous. Put them all together and you get like a really nice makeup. I'm not actually wearing any makeup today because I'm not feeling 100%. Um, but hey ho. Anyway, this is what they look like. I um, don't know how much they are again. I'm so sorry. But yeah, loving them. Next thing is, is two makeup brushes. And they're both from Primark. It's a powder, powder brush like that and it just looks like that and they're from Primark and a concealer and foundation brush also from Primark they're £1.50 each so worth the money I'm actually getting some real technique brushes hopefully soon for my birthday which will be absolutely brilliant because I've wanted them for ages so yeah I suggest if you need brushes get these because they're really good next thing is my eyebrow pencil I rave about um, MUA makeup a lot in, in my videos. As you know, a few weeks ago I done a haul and I said I bought, picked up this eyebrow pencil. Um, I'll link the haul down below. And it is honestly the best eyebrow pencil in the world. If you really want nice eyebrows, get this. I haven't done my eyebrows or anything today. But get this because it's so good and just honestly worth the money so much. And it was only a pound from MUA in Superdrug. And yeah, it's lasted me so well. And I have loads of colours of these, so get that. I would suggest. Or something, I think. Can I sit in Oh no, there it is. Next thing is my Cover and Conceal MUA um, Concealer. Another thing I'll rave about from MUA, £1.50. Does the job brilliant. I really want to get the Collection 2000 one, but every time I go into Superdrug, they never, ever, ever have my shade, which is 01, and it really annoys me because they're really good. Everybody raves, literally. Every YouTuber raves about them I watch, and like, who's a girl, and I'm like, oh, God. Oh bugger, I can't get any, but hopefully I am soon. But for now, this will do. It's really good, really worth the money, so yes. And I dropped it. Hey -ho. Next thing I've been loving, sorry about the packaging on this, is that they're real Benefit Mascara. Looks like this. I love Benefit, my Benefit Mascara. It is brilliant. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is about this. When I first got it, I wasn't sure. I've had it for a while now though, there's not much left, I'm, like, I'm going to have to pick another one up. That's just the wand on it, it's such a good wand and I just love it. I think it's such a good mascara for the price you pay. It was £19.50, I got a small one with it that is in my box because I haven't been able to get it out. And yeah, I love it. I've got, I was actually thinking about this before I filmed this video, I've got so many examples of um, 
my makeup products that I haven't used, it's just in like a box. So I feel like I might do a video of testing the things I have soon because I feel like that might be a cool video for people to watch. Anyway, the next thing I've got is an MUA Makeup Academy lipstick in the shade 14. This, I've raved about this lipstick, so it's really grubby because I use it a lot so much. I wore this to the summertime ball, any vlogs you watch usually, of me wearing this, and it's one of my favourite lipsticks ever. And it's only a pound from MUA. I get a lot of my makeup now from MUA or MAC or places like that. So if you're looking for a really nice nude lipstick but you can't afford the MAC one, go to MUA. So worth the money. Next few things is more makeup again. Yeah, I've got a lot of makeup. I've got quite a lot of blushes in this one because this last month I've sort of gone blusher crazy. I've got a couple more brushes now. I've got my foundation brush. This is actually from Poundland. It's looking really old and grubby because I need to actually get a new one. It just looks like that. I use it so much I've just sniffed my brush. How weird is that? Um, anyway, it looks like this. Really cool. Um, not cool, but yeah. Does the job. The next one is my blusher brush. I actually got this in a pack of four for Christmas last year for my nan with others I use the others but they're not in my favourites this is my favourites because it's so thin and just does the job so well so yeah the next thing I've been enjoying is my Stud another mascara and it's Studio London mascara this should be an act like an actual branding shops studio so sort of just like super drug for Christmas because their makeup is bloody brilliant honestly and um, this is what the brush looks like it just gives you such a natural nice look and it really is worth the money every penny so yeah it looks like this just plain and simple but worth every penny of the pack I got with it okay the next thing is two more lipsticks I think they're the last yeah they're the last lipsticks as well so it's another I've got another MUA but this one's an MUA Makeup Academy Mate Matte one and it's called Wild Berry I'm, I've got red hair dyed and quite dark hair, so I've got to be quite careful with what I sort of put on my lips, but this, it comes up so nice. I'll do a spot on it on my hand. It's such a nice colour as well. That's a close-up to the thing. It's not very arty, I'm afraid. And this is what it looks like on your hand. It is absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, I could rave about this a lot but I'm not going to, I'm going to get the rest of the stuff on because this one is freaking boiling. Anyway the next one is a um, Topshop Lip Sheer one and it looks like this, it's this gorgeous colour, it's in Red Alert and it looks like this and this is what the top of my hand looks like. It's literally so not gorgeous and honestly £3 this cost me from Topshop, first Topshop lipstick as well and honestly I could not have been happier with it worth every penny so go for it I would say. Next few things are going to be the blushes. There are five blushes I think, yeah. And then yeah, there's a few bits actually, sorry. Uh, yeah. So things blusher wise I've been loving these five. I know it's quite a lot. So the first one is most of them are MUA MUA uh, blusher called Bonbon. I'll do you a show you inside looks like that looks like that on the hand I'm sorry I'm running out of space on my hand next one is uh, blusher cupcake by MUA that's what it looks like I love MUA blushes I think they're really easy to apply next one is lolly I love the names of these as well I feel like they're really inventive is that a word I don't know I have to ask my mother. And the last one by MUA is Candy Floss. This is another one of my faves. It's quite dark but quite nice. It's just there. Also, it comes up really pigmented. It doesn't come up on camera. And the last blusher is Rimmel London 004 Pink Rose. I got this for my birthday a few years ago. Put it in a drawer and then only recently started using it. And this is what my Rimmel one looks like. <laughs> there. It's gorgeous. Next thing I have been loving is my PSF Illuminate Skin Brightening Cream. I 
rave, I can rave about the Primark makeup a lot. I know a lot of people don't get on with it, but I really do. A lot of my collection, like if you look, I've done my makeup collection, there's a lot of makeup things in there, I'll link that down below. Primark things in there, and it's just so easy to apply and use, and so thin, and just honestly worth every penny. It's only £2.50 as well, so so cheap. Sorry about the inside, mine's really dirty. It's 50 mil. Why did I just say that? That's really random, I'm so sorry. Um, and yeah, worth every penny. And then the next thing I've been using is another Primark thing. I just recently took the sticker off, so that's why it looks really grubby. But it's the Pierce Love Face Powder in light. I've got the most lightest skin in the world. It looks like this. I've actually used a lot of it, so it's running out. So that's why it looks really grubby inside. But yeah, looks like that. That's the mirror. Love it. So worth every penny. So if you're looking for a nice powder for cheap two pound primark and i'll just try my finger on it don't do that it hurts next thing is a miss sporty london gel um this, uh, nail polish um it's it, it's really cool i've only used it a couple of times got one there but i took it off and yeah it's a really nice color that's what the wand looks like that's really weird i know but yeah gorgeous purple color oh i hate some nail polish Right, the next things I'm going to do are like face stuff and take things off. So the first two things are a, to do with my face and it's a PS Love Your Skin 24 hour deep hydration cream cleansing lotion. It's terminally tested more, more can organ oil hydration. This is usually £1.50 in Primark but it was reduced down to... 50p. I got it when I went last week. I forgot to put it in the hall to go because it was in the front room. And I use it every single day. So yeah, go and buy that. I would suggest it's going to fall. Bugger. Next thing is my Skin Therapy Cleansing Eye Makeup Remover. First ever eye make I makeup remover I've used and it's absolutely brilliant. And for some reason it smells amazing. And this is from Sainsbury's. It was £2.50. Next thing I've been loving is the Sainsbury's 18 Cotton Wood Pads. I use these to take my makeup off, that's all there is to be said about it. I don't even know why I had them in the whole hodge of the beard. Sorry, my products are falling off. Next thing I've been loving are these sunglasses from Primark. They're £2. We haven't ha actually had any sun for the last few weeks. No one would think it was summer, would they? No, I was saying to my mum the other day, it feels like, Christ like wintry Christmas sort of time. And I know that's a few months away, but I love Christmas. This is what they look like on. Um, I look like a twat, but hey ho, because I can't see myself. But yeah, they look like this and they're really nice. Yeah. Next thing I have, other things I have been loving this month are, I'll go on to TV quickly now actually, because there's only two things for TV I've been loving. First thing is The Walking Dead. Um, I, I watched one episode, I can't remember when, and I, I fell in love with it, and ever since then I've just been watching more. And if you haven't seen the series 6 really yet, you should go and watch it, because it looks freaking fantastic. And yeah, if you haven't watched The Walking Dead, go and educate yourself. Unless you're under the age of 10, don't, because you'll probably want to sleep for about 6 years, and I don't want people come back to me. Anyway, the other t TV programme I have been loving, it was something called Netflix, called Survivors, which was on a few years ago. I've watched both series, and they're brilliant, so yes go and watch that if you haven't already. Next two things I have been loving is my Beauty ca um, Cassis and Redberry Body Spritz. This smells amazing. I got this a few years ago and this has been in pra a few videos. I took this to Summertime Ball with me and every time I spray it it just brings back brilliant memories of Summertime Ball and stuff. Next thing I've been loving are my vitamins. I don't know why I've added these in. I just saw them and thought that would be simple. For a favourite two to go, one pound, no, two pounds and probably like sixty in there. And yeah, they're from Sainsbury's. Next thing I've been loving is this musk body spray by Sainsbury's. Another one that smells brilliant. And I went to my mum's and I got this. This smells, you know, when you're always at school and there's when you if you get upset, there's always that one teacher that would make you feel better or was like really, you was really close to. And this might just be me, I don't know. It smells of that and it's like that smell and it's really nice. And it was 85p, I think. Next thing I've been loving, which is really random, I know, is my Garnier Mineral 
protection, skin and cleansing deodorant for 48 hours. I love the smell of this. I used to use this a lot last year. I literally lived in it and it smells brilliant, honestly. Brilliant. My debate, but I don't know. Next thing I've been loving is my L'Oreal Paris LV Thickening Thickening Conditioner and Shampoo. I got these from Sainsbury's. Um, they were £2 each, I want to say. I can't actually remember, but yeah, they look like this. Um, and really, it's really good. I actually need going to have a shower after this, I think. And yeah, use these. Last two, a couple of things I've been loving, one put them there, a couple of things I've been loving is just random bits and bobs now. I've really been loving my ele elegant, I've really been loving pet nails again. If you see my vlog last week, last week from when I went to London, it'll be in the description down below. And yeah, I have been loving fake nails, so I've got some elegant tap. Elegant touch ones. I've got so many fake nails, but they just haven't. Been, I haven't been asked to get them all out because we'll be here forever. So I just got these. I got these from Poundland for a pound. Can't complain. Other things I've been enjoying is some hazelnut Nutella by Sainsbury's, and the reason I've been enjoying this is because I've been having it on toast, and it is the nice sort of nicest thing ever on toast. In yeah. I don't know why I'm bringing this up for. <laughs> I'm so random. And the last thing is a Galaxy Frothy Top Hot Chocolate. I don't drink tea or coffee. I drink hot chocolate. And I make my mum make this to me most nights. And I don't drink it, which is really bad. And then I'm freezing for the rest of the night. Um, but yeah, it's just this. I got this from Same Freeze as well. Um, I feel like there's something, yeah, music wise, what I've been loving actually. There, I want to just put this out here because there's a singer songwriter called Nathan Grisdale who I'm obsessed with he does YouTube like he does YouTube videos of him singing he does originals and sometimes covers he is absolutely brilliant if you haven't heard of him his, his link will be down below but he is sensational he honestly I've never I love music but his lyrics you like I can listen to and relate a lot so yeah if you do want to and see any of of the people who I've mentioned, like Nathan Grister, also Tori Kelly as well, I've been loving. And yeah, that's everyone who I've been loving music wise. And that's everything I've actually been loving this last month. If you did really enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, and all that. My links will be down below to my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Tumblr. Please go follow my Tumblr actually because I do, do use that a lot. Um, and yeah, I will see you. Peace soon of the internet what am i doing goodbye